Wir sind jetzt hier am Stand von General Starlight uh, und ich bin hier mit Stan. Hello Stan. Hi. And uh, we are looking here at some very interesting devices, I would say. Uh, Absolutely. One is a rifle scope yep. and the other one is a binocular. However, Correct. they are not just a rifle scope and a binocular, they are thermal. They are thermals, yeah. And they are kind of special. Correct. What makes them so different? What makes them different and makes them unique is uh, a number of features that they have. First of all, it's a fully aluminum housing. There is no single plastic part in this device. Plus, it features a uh, four-chamber battery compartment that takes any AA batteries, and it lasts for up to up to uh, 12 hours on just four batteries. A four AA batteries, four so you AA. can get it everywhere, and 12 hours is for nighttime hunting more than plenty. More than, yeah. It's, it's more than it's night, quite a game. actually. Yeah, it, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Also, there is a uh, video out and power port, so you okay. can hook it up to uh, any display. You can connect your uh, power bank and uh, have even longer battery life. Also, lens has a very low aperture. Germanium, multi-coated lens. It gives you a really crisp, nice image. Focus. It looks like a very high magnification. What does it offer? Uh, this one is uh, 4X. Or X optical magnification. With the 640, so this means it's basically an, an eight times magnification, and with the higher resolution, it's a four times then. Four times, yeah. So, also, the sensor, that's the heart and soul of every thermal imager. It is. Right? We offer two sensors uh, with different resolutions. It's 640 by 480, that's high res, and 384 by 288, standard mm -hmm. resolution. Yes. They're running at uh, 25 and uh, 50 hertz respectively, mm -hmm. so which gives you a very fluid, nice image. Also, the sensor is doing a non-uniformity correction by itself. So it's shutterless, yeah. and also you so don't have... this means no click-click and, no, and click, no, click. Noises, whatever. no noises, no clicks. There is no interruption in device's operation because the non-uniformity correction is done automatically. So this means if I power it on, then usually the picture freezes and then continues and freezes and continues and freezes and in this case there's no have, freezing no freezing you whatsoever can turn it on and yeah. have a smooth image all exactly. the time exactly because in many in many other thermal imagers in the market you have to manually close the lens yeah. wait for a couple of seconds restart recalibrate so the device will recalibrate itself push the button and but still it's uh, interruption of the device It's not really convenient from our viewpoint. Yeah. And most of our, most of the users of this device are uh, police officers. Yeah. And they want uh, no interruptions yeah. because exactly. sometimes of their course. life may depend on it. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So here, non-uniformity correction is done on the go, automatically, no freezing. This technology is more convenient for the end user. Clearly, it's it's more expensive. There is a trade-off. Yeah, of course. But if your customer wants the best, this is the way to go. So this is the upper class of, of thermal rifle scoping. Correct. Correct. High quality lens, very high quality build quality. You can feel it that it's really nice build quality. You can feel it with the focus ring. It's nice and smooth, smooth. Yeah. really softly going. And you have a very nice and big lens, so very crisp image getting out of it. That's right. And then there's no stopping and so on, and very Correct. long battery lifetime as well. Yep. And here we have something else. This is a binocular. It's also a thermal binocular. Yep. And this one looks also very nice. I've seen you have also different optics versions, mm -hmm. and I guess also different sensor versions available. Yep. What is it exactly? So here, it's uh, this particular model is a... Uh, thermal goggles. Yes. So that's uh, bioculars. So you have two oculars, one lens. You can use it in a uh, variety of ways. You can use it as a uh, handheld device, mm -hmm. just like this. Right here, there's a bracket that allows you to install it and um, put it on your headgear or helmet mount. Also, so you can just sit and watch. Yeah, just sit and watch, <laughs> hands-free. Like, like television. Like television, <laughs> thermal television, hands-free. In addition to that, uh, this design allows you to use and install a variety of lenses. Mm -hmm. For example, you can simply remove this lens, install a um, long, we call it long-range adapter, which is a metal piece 
that allows to install lenses of bigger diameter mm -hmm. uh, and bigger focal lengths. And I can do this by myself? All by yourself. Mm -hmm. So you don't, you don't need a additional, additional calibration, you can do it right in the field. And I don't need to, to make the decision when I'm buying it, so I can go for the, the basic one, mm -hmm. just for observation, mm -hmm. and if I think I need more mag mag magnification, I can still go for the bigger lens, correct? And it's no problem. I can do it by myself. Yeah. And Absolutely. If I want to go back again, just unmount it and just that's unmount. it. Exactly. Because Very convenient. With, this, with this device, if you order it, um, if you order a separate additional lens, mm -hmm. a bigger, higher magnification, the lens comes with the adapter, so you don't have to buy adapter one because you never know. Maybe you won't yeah. need it. And uh, you can interchange lenses in the field. So this is 25 millimeter lens, 1x magnification. You can go 50 millimeter, 75, 100 millimeter, and even 150 millimeter. 150? 150 millimeter lens, <laughs> f1.0. That's, wow. that's a big thing. Oh, yeah. It's a big thing. So, this means still, even though you have a very large magnification, you still have all the details. Correct. You can see everything of the skin of the animals and so that's on. That's true. That's true. And uh, just. Uh, as the weapon site, we also have uh, two sensors. So there are two sensors available, 384 by 288 running at uh, 50 hertz, and mm -hmm. there is 640 by 480 running at 25 hertz. Mm -hmm. Okay. So also, this features a tripod mount, mm -hmm. so you can install it as a probably in some remote location. In addition, again, same four chamber battery compartment. What's the lifetime of a battery? This one is about uh, 9 to 11 hours. So also plenty. Plenty, plenty <laughs> of time, absolutely. All right. Video out and the power port. Mm -hmm. And also you can have a uh, additional head mounted display. So you can okay. put it somewhere on a tripod and have a display and see what this device sees but being pretty far away. Yeah. That's a nice gadget. Yeah. So everything's very high quality, as it seems. Nevertheless, my question, what if something breaks? If something breaks, first of all, all of our devices are covered by seven year manufacturer's warranty. So this means whatever breaks, I have seven years and can bring it back to you and you repair it for free. That's correct. That's correct. That's, so that's a very long lifetime yeah, guarantee. Seven, so seven years, and we've been in the industry for 25 years. So we know the products, we know what we're doing. We know the quality and uh, our customers. You are, have of our, of very our satisfied quality. customers. That's Absolutely. your best evidence. So you can afford seven years of warranty. It's no problem at all. That's correct. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Dan. All right. Thanks, Richard. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks.